Previously on Road Trip Warriors, we began our dirt bike camping trip with a bit of uncertainty. We had yet to choose our first destination. While heading south from Colorado Springs, we decided on Carson National Forest, located in New Mexico. After battling the sketchy fire roads with the truck, we found a camp and rested up for the night. Join us this weekend on Road Trip Warriors as we collaborate with Life of Pleasure for part two of our dirt bike camping trip. During this episode, we attempt to climb some sketchy hills on our dirt bikes, enter a gated area for some technical fun, and then attempt to pet some cows, all while completing what turned out to be a 60 mile loop while running dangerously low on fuel. Here we are Adventure Squad, grab your gear and let's go. We wake up after the first night of our trip to a brisk but sunny morning. We catch some fresh air off the river next to our camp before kicking our bikes into gear. <laughs> While scoping for spots to ride up into the unknown, we come across what looks like a moderately challenging hill climb. It has rocks ranging in size from that of a soccer ball to full-on boulders. We attempt to hit the hill from a few different directions. Dude, this one's a <laughs> challenge. After several attempts, we decide to save our energy for the terrain to come. <laughs> that took a lot of energy. Oh, yeah, it does. That's a black forest? Carson. We continue on and find some rocky hills to climb. Let's see what we got. That was so much fun. <laughs> Up over there? I wonder if there's a house over there. Cactus all over. <laughs> Rip around this, kind of follow that ridge. Yeah. All you. <laughs> While riding along the trail, we come across a gated area. We decide to take the risk, open it, and investigate what's inside. rock and a log. <laughs> I chased the deer up here. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. These hill climbs are fun. Oh, yeah. This looks way too sketchy to come back to. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like nothing. Let's do it. <laughs> The path 
path seems heavily traveled, so we continue onwards. We find some fun logs to pop over. Jared flies over his handlebars and attempt to log hop handstand, which ends in disaster. The rotting log is now busted to pieces. We decide to head back to the main trail in search of a map. We come across a fairly inaccurate map. We are unable to determine how far we are from our camp, which is a concern as each of us have started this day with about two gallons of fuel in our bikes. It seems as though we are better off continuing on the loop rather than turning back, based on what we see on the map. As we are cruising the trails and taking in the beautiful landscape, we come across a herd of free-range cattle. We attempt to get close enough to pet them, but they're spooked very easily. Maybe one day we'll successfully pet a cow. Let's get back to the trail. Maybe having your hands on your hips made you too aggressive for one. <laughs> kind of like, oh shit, this guy's gonna whoop some ass. <laughs> I think it goes in and stops. Okay, so, I don't know, I don't see it on the GPS map either. I kind of feel like it's this way. Yeah, that's kind of like the more normal looking road. Back there, there is a sign saying something about the New Mexico border. I think this is the loop then. I think the guy was saying that. We had just pass into Colorado and come back down. Yeah, but we would have had to cross that asphalt road. Oh no, because we drove in, the road was in Colorado. So I think we should probably just go this way because it's going probably, well, what I assume is the direction we want to be going. what it is so like that first map we looked at it was like oh that's only four miles and all the maps break up like this and I think there's a huge big map we're taking the outside circle or something so they're just showing you what the wilderness section is like I'm at the bottom of my tank I think keep going is the only option at this point yeah I see how it's fucking risky for the biscuit. <laughs> Each map we find along the trail seems misleading. Our concern continues to grow as we run dangerously low on fuel. We begin to realize each map we discover depicts a small section of the greater loop we must complete to make it back to our camp. To conserve fuel, we begin shutting off our engines on downhill sections. Hopefully this isn't too little, too late.
As day two grows sketchier and sketchier, our batteries begin to die. A dead phone, a dead camera, low fuel. This sounds like a recipe for disaster. Before hitting a river crossing, my camera dies. If any of you record extreme sports, you can probably relate to such a situation. We cross the 30 foot wide river successfully and begin to see a lot of people on the trails. Thank goodness. We finally recognize a sign leading to our camp. We made it back to camp with no fuel to spare. What an adventure, and it's only day two of the trip. Now let's head to our next location, Flagstaff, Arizona. Hey, it's Dylan here. Thanks for joining us this weekend on Road Trip Warriors for part two of our dirt bike camping trip with Life of Pleasure. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment in the section below. Search for us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and give us a follow. Also, check out our shop on Facebook and buy some of your very own Road Trip Warriors merch. Again, thank you guys for watching our video and sharing it with your friends, and go over and check out Life of Pleasure's take on this trip. See you next weekend.